I want to talk about selfishness. When people think about bad sins, some people may think of rape, murdering, stealing, cursing a person out, so on and so on. But selfishness can send you to hell just as fast as those other sins will. Does that make any sense? Okay. We have to understand that we are not on this earth for ourselves. We are not on this earth only. We are not on this earth only for ourselves. We are not on this earth only for ourselves. We are here for other people. We are here for other people. When you start to understand this, you are going to make better informed decisions. Selfishness is huge. Let's go to Romans 15, 1 through 3. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. So what is the saying? Let's look at the expanded Bible. We who are strong in faith should help the weak with their weaknesses and not please only ourselves. So what this is saying, people that are strong, who can take care of themselves, we need to help people that are weak, that may, that may be having issues right now. Well, you know, they should be able to take care of themselves. We are not here for ourselves. We are here for other people, not only for ourselves. So you can't live your life doing what you want to do and not caring about others. God did not make you to only care for yourself. You have to care for other people, not only your family, but for people outside your family as well. Give me a second, please. Okay, let's go to verse 2. Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. So in the other translation, let each of us please our neighbors for their good, to help them be stronger in faith, edify them, build them up. So what is that saying? We have to be there for people to show them how to get to God, how to correct them, not how to, but to correct them to show them the correct way. Yes, we are not here for ourselves. So get that selfish spirit out of you. Okay, verse 3. For even Christ pleased not himself. For even Christ pleased not himself. So even Jesus Christ did not please himself. But as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproached thee fell on me. So it is saying that Jesus Christ is here for us. He did not, he did not do anything wrong. Let me read the other translation. Even Christ did not live to please himself. It was as the scriptures say, when people insult you, it hurts me. The insults of those who insulted you have fallen on me. So this is saying that Jesus did not come on earth only for himself. He came for us. So we need to do the same thing. We have to be there for other people. We need to correct people 
in the way of the Bible. We have to. Even if they are really irritating or annoying, we still have to help them in some type of way. We have to correct them in love. So you can't go in your own place and hide away and not deal with people. You have to. Okay, let's go to Hebrews 13 and 16. But to do good and to communicate, forget not. For with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. This is not the scripture I want to go to. So let me X out. Okay, let's go to Philippians 2 and 4. Look not every man on his own goods or own things, but every man also on the things of others. So what is this saying? This is saying that we have to care for others. We have to notice others. When they are down, when they are weak, we have to be there for them. We have to show them and teach them how to get closer to God. Not say, well, I have my issues and you have your issues and you just have to deal with it. No. We have to show them what to do. If they choose to not do what you ask, hey, what can you do? You have to go on your way then. Because they are refusing your help, right? So what more can you do? You have to go on your way. Okay. So let's go to 1 John 3 and 17. Give me another second. Okay. But whoso hath this world's good, and seeth his brother have need, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him? So if you see any man or any woman in need, whether it is in need of food, water, help, or anything like that, and you are able to help that person, but you choose not to, how can you say that you have the love of God in you? How can you say that you are a Christian? How can you say that? You won't be able to say that. You say that you love God, but when it comes to people, you act in another way. So how can you say that you love God when you show no love to people? Because by loving God, you are going to obey his laws. And if you are not showing love to people, well, you don't really love God. Okay, let's go to 1 Corinthians 10 and 24. Let no man seek his own, but every man another's wealth. Let no man seek his own, but every man another's wealth. So if you look at the translation, do not look out only for yourselves, look out for the good of others. As you can see, we are not here for only ourselves, but we are here for other people. So stop thinking that, hey, I should not have to help this person because I work so hard to get to where I am at right now, and that person has not worked as hard as me, so they should do it and stop being lazy, blah, blah, blah. No! No! We have to be there for people, whether they are not that bright. Okay, hold on. 
this guy. Whether they are not that bright or not, we have to be there for people. Okay. Lost my train of thought. Let's go to Galatians 6 and 2. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Here we go again. All of this is pretty much saying the same things. We have to bear each other's burdens. We have to show people how to get to God. If they refuse you, hey, you have to go just walk on. If they are not willing to do what you ask, if they just want to continue doing what they're doing, ignoring what you are telling them to do, you have to walk on. But at least try. Okay. Let's go to Proverbs 2 or 21 and 13. Whoso stoppeth his ears at the cry of the poor, he also shall cry himself, but shall not be heard. So if you are not willing to help people when it is your time to be helped, what this is saying that you are not going to be heard. So you have to repent if you are not helping others. And it does not have to be about money and stuff like that. It can be anything. Hold on. Okay. Let me see. Let's go to Proverbs 28 and 27. He that giveth unto the poor shall not lack, but he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse. So the more that you give, not only money, but your time and stuff like that, anything, it does not have to be only money. Everyone thinks, well, you know, it's money this and money that. No, some things are better than money. When you give a person's, when you give people your time in some way or form, that is better. In some cases, that is better than money. Make sense? Because money does not solve every problem. Sometimes it takes your love and compassion. So he that giveth unto the poor shall not lack. So if you are lacking, are you giving to the poor in some type of way? Perhaps not. But he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse. So you are cursed when you are not willing to help people. Let me highlight it. Oops. What just happened? <laughs> okay. Let me highlight this. Let's make it green. Okay. But he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse. But he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse. So this is saying, if you are not willing to help people when you are able to, and many of us are able to, but many people say, hey, I am broke, or I am very busy. No, you're not. Because if it was something, if there was something that you wanted to do, it would not matter how busy you are. It would not matter how broke you are. You would find the money and you would find the time. So, get out of here with this, I am too broke, or I have no money, or I am too busy, because you really aren't. Okay. You should really write down this scripture here, Proverbs 28 and 27. He that giveth unto the poor shall not lack. That is a promise. 
Some people may think, well, the more that I give, the less I am going to have. In the earthly way of thinking, that is correct. But who made this world? Who made the laws of this world? God, right? So this is a promise from God. So give more to people that are in need. Because if you do, you are not going to lack. My Lord. Okay, let's go to Proverbs 21 and 13. Oops. <laughs> what just happened? Did I do Proverbs 21 and 13? Ah, oh, Lord. Okay, Proverbs 21 and 13. Whoso stoppeth his ears at the cry of the poor, he also shall cry himself, but shall not be heard. I believe I did this. But let me do it again, I guess. So, if you are not compassionate, willing to help people, you are going to reap what you sow, so the same thing is going to happen to you. So all of these scriptures are pretty much saying the same things. You are not here for yourself. You are here for other people. If you are not willing to help people, a curse is going to come upon you. That is a sin. Selfishness is a sin. I don't know why people believe that this life is only for themselves. I believe media and TV shows show you that, hey, you can do this for yourself. You can do that for yourself. That is wrong. It is not a bad thing to do things for yourself. But this world is not only for yourself, but it is for other people. It is not about your happiness or only about your happiness. It is about your happiness and others' happiness as well. So you have to be concerned about other people, not only for yourself. If you are not, you are in sin because you are being selfish. Selfishness. I used to be so selfish back in the past. So selfish to a certain point, certain point. But I had to change that. To get closer to God, many people may say that they want to prophesy and teach and blah, blah, blah. But how are you going to do that when you are selfish, when you have no love for people? Do you believe that God is going to give you the gift of prophecy to only use for yourself and not help others with it? Do you believe that God is going to give you all of these great gifts for you to only use for yourself? Meaning that you are not going to help others with it. The gifts that God gives you is for you to help others with. It is not so much for your own use, but for you to use it for others, not for yourself. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. So stop all of this selfishness. Think about it. God made us to help each other. But you are going against God's plan. But you think that God is going to bless you a lot more by you not helping others. You say that you love God, but you don't really love people because you're thinking about yourself. It's about me. It is about the way I feel. It is about the way I think. I, 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 I. Selfish. Get that selfish mess out of you because it is going to destroy you. <sighs> okay, God bless.